Okay, so what I really want to work on today is getting this Black Drake's Heart. And I kind of mentioned uh, that it's a relatively low drop rate. It's like, it really is not a great drop rate. Uh, but it's a nice quest to wrap up if possible. So I really want to work on and get that done. And uh, this might be a little bit of a boring video. I apologize in advance, but that's sort of the way it works sometimes when you're farming these extremely, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, slow drop rate items for some quest. It's just unfortunate. Now, one person, uh, I was convinced through a YouTube comment to, uh, oh, by the way, we need to buff up. Let's go ahead and just get all of our buffs. Uh, I was convinced to go ahead and respec shadow form immediately. So I'm not going to do it like this very second. But uh, as soon as I get back to a major city, we're going to go ahead and respec. We're going to drop out the five points and improved wand spec, uh, pump them over here into the shadow tree to get shadow form. And then we'll go back and put the rest of the points back into shadow or into wand spec. So we can go ahead and hit that uh, five out of five improved wand, which I think is totally worth it. Uh, definitely is a great talent. And shadow form, by the way, uh, what was this? So you assume a shadow form, increasing your shadow damage by 15% and reducing physical damage done to you by 15%. I always forget that little detail, that 15% uh, reduced physical damage. I always forget about that. You know, it's a bit of a dust storm going on today here in the Badlands. And by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're on Kronos 1, the uh, private vanilla world of Warcraft server. How's life? Let's see how the guild's doing. Uh, so it's very quiet in guild chat today. Um, I'm actually playing at an, a weird time for me. Normally I play early in the mornings. Um, today I'm playing... Uh, sorry, won't have time. Thanks, though. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I normally play early in the morning. It's like very, very early. Uh, but I am not doing that today. It's actually afternoon time for me. Um, you know, I mentioned that we've been moving. and We, we finally are getting back into a routine. We're not perfectly there, we're almost there. That's what I've really been waiting on, is to get into that routine again uh, in my normal life, my real life. And then once I get that routine, it's a little bit easier to find time to fit in video games and WoW and all that. You know, until you get the necessities in line, you know, getting your bills signed up for, getting transportation taken care of, your new uh, housing arrangements, getting your job started, getting the, you know, the commute to your work and back, getting all those in line is really important for me first. Um, but I've pretty much got those all. Started work uh, just today, so it's my first day to work. And I'm actually playing now, like I said, after work. Normally I play, I used to play before work in the mornings, but at the moment it seems like maybe after work works a little bit better. Uh, let's see, I wanted to take a look in Guild here a bit. It's been a while since I've been on, it really has been. Um, so last video, uh, we ended here in Badlands, and I was hoping to get back on quickly and play again, but as a lot of things came up, um, I mentioned, I think I mentioned last video, we actually got in a car accident. Uh, someone blew a stop sign and hit him, and we totaled our car. Everyone was okay, thankfully, um, but it, it adds a lot of uh, difficulty to a moving process when that happens. It was literally during our move, like we were heading over to our new place and that happened, and we finally got around to getting a new car uh, just last week, a few days ago. So it, that was the big thing It took a lot of time. We hadn't, I mean, our cars we had were like 10, 12 year old cars. Um, and we took a while to really find something that was gonna be uh, good and reliable and affordable and safe and, you know, last us another 10 years, hopefully. So that all took a while. And we're happy with our purchase. We actually bought a Toyota Corolla 2016. It's not, um, it's not a fancy car. It's it's a very dependable car, but there's nothing fancy about it. It's uh, you know it's a it's a reliable car. It's all we really need in our lives right now. We're not big on you know cars. I I love cars. Uh, I don't know a lot about them though to be honest. But I am just not a big car person in that regard. Um, you know some people are like. I don't know. It's like their thing. It's like a hobby for them. It's cars. You know, repairing cars, building cars, uh, reading about cars. That's not really my thing. I, I like cars, but I'm not a big gearhead or whatever you want to call it. Um, my favorite car, if so, if anyone cares, is, and I've never driven it, I just basically like what I've heard about it and what I've seen about it, uh, is a Chrysler Crossfire. They were kind of a limited run of cars, not limited run, but not a very popular uh, model. They came out, I think around 2004 and they were discontinued by 2009. Uh, there's the coupe, and there's another style of it. I forget 
the other style is called. I think it's the coupe that I like. They're, they're fairly different visually. When you look at them, they look quite different from each other. I think it's the coupe that I like. Uh, the hard top. I think it's like a, like a soft top one. I like the hard top. Anyway, um, getting off topic, but we're farming these black drakes right now. The scalding whelps really is what we're farming. Whoops, I gotta get my wand going in. And, uh, it's going alright, but we haven't got any drops, of course, so we're just farming junk right now. Uh, let's see. Yo, the chat is quiet this evening. Um, I think it's an off night as far as ratings concerned. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, the next one is in a day or two, the next raid, I think. It's pretty quiet, uh, which is fine, I don't really mind, but I'm also not on usually at this time of day. It's really weird, really weird hour for me to be on. In fact, I don't remember last time I played WoW during like mid-afternoon like this. Oh sweet, we got our black Dre card. Okay, so we do have a mount. I was still forgetting. Oh wait, someone reminded me. Not the brown ram, where, where, where is it, where is it? A rabbit crate. Gotta get our rabbit out. Someone reminded me in a comment, they're like, hey, don't forget about your pet. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about the pet. I was forgetting. The good thing is, look at this little rabbit. Look, look at how fast this thing uh, runs. It totally will keep up with us on our little dwarven ram here. There it goes hopping along, which is great. Uh, now, what I want to do is turn in this first quest, by the way. Ooh, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, yeah, I am. I thought we were at the south here. So what we did is we actually had... Uh, there's two areas you can farm. This is southern part down here in left lower ravine. And this northern part which is also Lethlore Ravine. Uh, these are where the, the whelps are. They're, and in the center here of Lethlore Ravine is a bunch of this scary stuff that you don't want to mess with if you can help it. Uh, they're kind of high level elites. And they're a little bit scary. Definitely not what we need for this quest. You can kill them for this quest. But it's a little unnecessary. So I generally avoid dealing with them. In fact, I don't know if we could actually kill them as level 41 priest. Um, it would be a big headache at the, at the bare minimum. If we even literally can even do it. Now... Uh, uh, hold on a sec, I'm looking at guild chat here. Yeah, most of us are hero. I, I forget, I, I, I think the guild has slowly, the demographics of the guild have slowly shifted towards European. Um, you know, like, I am, uh, I'm in US, I'm in the US, I'm in Illinois. Um, but anyway, yeah, a lot of people, so it's the Midwest, I'm in Central US time. But a lot of people in the guild are in Europe, I think, um, which is interesting. Um, not bad, not good. I tend to play a lot on my own anyway, I feel like, especially because I don't play consistent hours. Hoping to change, I'm hoping to get some more consistency. So we're going to turn in our quest, by the way. We're going to get this Fiery Blaze enchantment. It's kind of a cool item, by the way. Uh, hold on a sec, I thought there was another quest to follow up here, but maybe not. Or maybe we need to complete something else first. Uh, anyway, the Fiery Blaze enchant, look at this thing. It's a one-use item. Uh, use It's a use item. So enchants a weapon have a 15% chance to inflict 9 to 13 fire damage to all enemies within 3 yards. Totally worthless for a priest, but we can cast it on uh, other people. So if uh, we're doing a trade, in the trade window under the like uh, do not trade item, we can use it as an enchant and actually give it to someone else. So we can sell it. Um, it's, it's actually kind of nice to some extent. It's not perfect in a lot of cases, but... It can be fun. The problem is that since an AoE damage, what happens, it'll break things like Polymorph if you're in a group. Um, I actually used it on my warrior as a, when I was tanking as my warrior. Uh, it was not the greatest decision, I think, because it would break Polymorph, but I knew it would break Polymorph, so I tried to be proactive and, like, if I was pulling mobs and someone was going to Polymorph, I would slowly back mobs away from the Polymorphed mob to avoid uh, breaking Polymorph best I could anyway. It happened sometimes, and it was funny because a lot of times people didn't realize what was going on, so that was always kind of fun. Uh, man, this quest, this, this sign of the earth, I really want to get it done, but these stupid ogres are just like... Alright, we're going to back up here and shield up. I guess we can remove this disease. Here we go, let's go ahead and mind blast this one. These are the ogres that I was mentioning, the problem is that they only respawn their big guy when you kill all of them, I think. So you actually have to, like, what, what always happens is someone comes out here, kills the named mob that I need, and then they don't kill the rest of the mobs. They solo pull them. And then if you don't kill all of these, though, I'm pretty sure the big mob won't respawn. So you have to kill, I have to come out here, kill all these myself, 
then wait for them to all respawn. It's uh, a little, little, little irritating. Not really irritating. It's just time consuming. Now let's just uh, focus down this spellcaster one here. Might be able to kill him pretty quickly. He shouldn't have a lot of health, like 1300 health. Um, I'm not going to bother solo pulling him. Because uh, we can totally kill both these guys pretty easily. Uh, let's see. Almost done. Okay, he's dead. Now we're going to kill this one. Now, let me tell you something. So recently, I had Chinese food. It's a, like American-style Chinese food. You know, nothing... Not like really authentic Chinese food. And I probably... Uh, it's a new place, i never tried it before. It's not a new place, it's new to us, we just moved here. So we tried it, and I can't describe it to you, really, but it was, I ordered General's Chicken, General Sal's Chicken, or however you pronounce it. Um, we had that with some veggie fried rice, and it was the most bland food I've ever had in my life. Like it's, I've never had that complaint about food, ever. Like I've never thought, like really, food is really plain. But it was literally like, like strangely, I don't know how to describe it. It was strangely flavorless is like the word I would use or surprisingly flavorless or like almost impressively flavorless. It was like a piece of chicken and it had, you know, like kind of the red orange colored sort of sauce that you would find in like General Sal's chicken. But somehow it had no flavor. It was like the chicken itself didn't taste like anything. And the sauce had no, like literally no flavor. Um, we even ordered it like the medium spice, which is a little bit spicier than they normally serve it, and it, it had no spice. Like, I started eating it before my wife did, and I was just eating it, and it, was, it taste, tasted fine. I mean, it didn't taste bad, it didn't taste like anything, it was okay, I was chewing it, and I, you know, swallowed a piece, and then I had some rice, rice was fine, I went back and had some more chicken, it still didn't taste like anything. I thought I was like, I thought it sounded like a stroke. I thought it was one of those things where like, you start having your senses fail, or something's going wrong, um, because you can't taste things, you can't smell things, you can't... Uh, you know, hear or do things as well as you normally would. I I have no idea, though, what it was. It was just like, no flavor at all. And then my wife tried it, same thing. Just, she, I was like, you know, I looked at her when she was eating it, I just was watching. And just sitting there, and chair next to me, just chewing, and she eats it. And then I'm looking at her, and she eats another piece, doesn't say anything. And I was like, hey, did, uh, hey wife, did you, uh, what do you think of that chicken? And she goes exactly, she's like, you know, it doesn't taste like anything. Does yours not taste like anything? I might have got a bad piece. I'm like, nope. I had a different piece than you. Also didn't taste like anything. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what to say. I've never had chicken like that. Where it was just like chicken, like seasoned chicken with sauce on it. Literally tastes like nothing. Now, what I'm doing right now on screen, I'm literally just running around trying to find the stupid ogre we need. And they patrol, they patrol counterclockwise. Uh, you saw a little band of them I killed just a minute ago. Patrol counterclockwise, so I was trying to uh, patrol uh, clockwise to catch them now in their patrol, but they have a slow respawn, so I don't know how long this can take. Um, I'm starting to think, by the way, I, I really need to run an instance. It's been a really long time since we ran an instance. Um, Oldeman would be okay for us now. Um, there's some other ones we could run, but they take a while, so I need to sit down and get a, get a chunk of time out to do Oldman. Um, trying to see if there's any more quests to do here. I don't think there are. I think we've kind of knocked out a lot of these quests. This guy has some supplies for us. We're going to repair maybe, what is this? Bundle of a curious read. Okay, yeah. Uh, wicked claws, ripped wings. These are all junk we can sell. Uh, I found out small flame stacks really don't sell for a lot. I thought they might. Nay, they really don't, unfortunately. Okay, now what we're looking for is what other quests I have here? Curious by the bundle. We gotta go Theramore for that one. You know, here we go. Maybe this is it. Nope, still just more of these stupid patrolling ones. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these two. Maybe this is the pack I need to kill to clear up space. Either way, I'm gonna finish these guys off eventually. Uh, I'm gonna keep going because I wanna get this quest done. It's a quest I really like to finish up. I definitely want to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and keep wanting this guy. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's throw a dot on that one back there. Let's reshield up. Let's throw down a mind blast. Pretty much finish that one off. Yep, perfect. Yeah, so I want to finish this one up. So, like I said, a little bit of a boring episode. I apologize for that. But uh, this is a quest that I've been stuck in here for a while, and I really like to finish it. Um, and then we might either, you know, I don't think immediately I'll be able to start up an instance. Um, it'll be a few episodes before we get to that point. I need to, like I said, set aside some time for that. 
um, but what I'm hoping to do is maybe run Oldeman. Uh, we're almost ready for Zulfurok. We're a little low, maybe like 42 to 43 for Zulfurok. Uh, maybe Marauden is more, uh, no, Marauden's higher than Zulfurok, I'm, I'm mistaken. Um, so we're not quite there yet, but in the meantime, we need to find a new zone. I think we've kind of worn out our welcome in the Badlands, and I'm looking forward to going somewhere else. I think, I think I'm tired of the Badlands for the most part. Uh, whoops, I got stuck on a little cacti there. Cactus? What's a single cactus? Just a cactus? What's a plural cactus? Cacti? Cactuses? Doesn't make sense. It's gotta be cacti. Cacti? Cacti? Well, um, you know, one thing I also am looking forward to making, it sounds silly, but I, I've been noticing that when I'm, when I make long flights in WoW, uh, so in, anytime I make a flight in any of my videos here, you've noticed probably that I put music to it. I used to not do that. I started doing that more recently, like in the last few months. Uh, I like putting music to it. I don't know why. It's kind of nice. Uh, but what's been really interesting to me is when I'm watching that part, when I'm watching a character fly around and I'm watching music on it, I, I think it kind of is relaxing in a way. It's just like, um, not like, what is it, ASMR, like the kind of thing that some people have. It's not that. But it is sort of relaxing in a calm, sort of, uh, fun, I don't, uh, not fun, uh, scenic fashion. And so, uh, what I would like to do is make a video, probably, or two videos. One flying from, like, the southern tip of Eastern Kingdoms to the northern tip of Eastern Kingdoms. And one flying from the southern tip of Kalimdor to the northern tip of Kalimdor. And just set it so I'll have it, like, uh... Like this, so the UI will be turned off. So it'll be zoomed, I think fully zoomed out. It might be fully zoomed in, but I think fully zoomed out is what I want to do. Uh-oh, someone's farming these rock elementals. I'm wondering who's farming these. What is this? What is this? Ooh, a level 40. Let's let's have some PvP action here. This could be fun. It's been a little while since we've done anything like that. He has a tracking hound friend. Yeah, we haven't killed a mob in a while. Uh, not a mob, sorry, a horde character in a while, which makes it seem kind of fun to do that. I think uh, it's always a good time. Let's get another dot on him. I think we got him, maybe. Oh, he's fast, though. He's fast. Uh-oh, I aggroed all these guys. What's He Needs Milk is his name? That's funny. His trekking hound's attacking me. Huh, okay. But, really? The hound will never stop chasing us, apparently. That's interesting. And, uh, kind of, kind of messed up, right? Like, how is this pos How is this fair? <laughs> the Dragon Hound does not stop chasing, apparently. Well, huh. Let me guess. Yeah, I'm stuck in combat now. Oh, there we go. Came out of combat. Well, I really wanted to kill that druid. He almost had him. I should have silenced him. I, I was thinking of doing it, but I thought he might attack me. So I was kind of holding on to silence to, like, drop that on him uh, last minute. Like, when he, like, I thought he was gonna, like, morph out of his form, uh, and then start attacking me in, like, bear form or something, but, uh, nope, that wasn't the case. So instead, uh, he got away. It's kind of a bummer. I know I was a little bit mean to attack him while he was in combat, but, like, I was trying to initiate the fight before he got into combat. Uh, he, like, I was running at him, he just, like, was running away, so it's a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so we'll have to, uh, keep an eye out for him, because he's probably gonna be unhappy with us. Uh, the good news is, he is level 40, so it's a good chance he doesn't have a mount. Um, which means we will be able to outrun him if he... Oh, come on, I got hit once and dazed. Annoying. Uh, annoying. Let's fear that away. Uh, we'll probably be able to either catch up to him or run away from him, depending on what's going on. You know, honestly, that guy only lived, that druid, uh, he needs milk, was that his name? Only lived because of that tracking hound. Uh, that tracking hound was kind of kind of clutch, to be honest. I what was weird about the tracking hound is that it, it attacked me and like it never stopped attacking me. You know, like it, when he even ran away from me, got out of combat, it didn't stop. So that was kind of interesting. Um, I, I'm a little surprised. I've never really seen those tracking hounds. That tracking hound, by the way, that comes from um, Hound Master Loxy. Is that his name, Loxy? Hound Master Loxy is in the Library wing, the first boss in the library wing of Scarlet Monastery. Um, 
Yeah, so so I'm reading world chat down there. Yeah, so he's the first boss there, and I think I've had that drop for me a few times, but to be honest, it's not amazing. Um, it's like a trinket, it's a dog whistle is what I think it's called, or I think it's dog whistle. But it's a three-use trinket, which is why it's kind of sad. Like, if it wasn't three-use, that'd be awesome. If it was, like, permanent use, um, but had, like, a, you know, a long cooldown, that'd be great. There's, uh, the Bear of Peasant Collar, I think is what it's called. It's a trinket you can get at, like, a, pretty much level 60. It's a really cool trinket. It's from Stratholm Quests, I think. Maybe Shalomance, but I think Stratholm Quests. Um, and it lets you summon three, like, kind of low-level or kind of weak mobs. To protect you for like 10 or 15 seconds once every 30 minutes you can use it maybe 15 minutes i think it's once every 30 minutes um i will say i'm contemplating um like cutting this video into two chunks not like it'll be one long video but i'm thinking of like pausing and then like just coming back in a little bit and seeing if these mobs that i want to respawn instead of just running in circles forever um or i might put a warning at the beginning of the video to like skip to Whatever time, whatever timestamp in the video is where I'm done running in circles, because yeah, it's a lot of running in circles right here. Um, hmm. Let's see what's going on down here in World Chat. You know, World Chat's having some fun down here. Everyone's having a laugh. It seems like kind of picking on people. By the way, this, this uh, pearl diving quest. I don't think I'm gonna complete that ever. It just depends. Um, it's a pretty. I mentioned a few times. The blue pearls, I had two of them, I sold them on, I didn't really think about it, I sold them before I got that quest. And now I don't think I'm going to go back and get more, because they take forever. Uh, and they aren't on the auction house a lot, or when they are, they're way too expensive. Like, I'll see them on there actually relatively often, like one or two, not nine of them, which is what I need. But they're so expensive, it's just like, I'm not spending multiple gold per blue pearl just to get those things. It's not worth it to waste the gold, so... That's the second uh, request for Scarlet Monastery since I uh, have been on. Uh, I'm gonna have to reply to that guy and say new no thanks. No thanks, but good luck. Healers are generally in pretty solid demand. Uh, healers, tanks also, but especially healers. By the way, the circle I'm running, I hope it's the right circle. I'm basically running in a circle based on what quest he is saying the mob patrols through, but I don't... I don't know if the mob really patrols through here, but this is the kind of the circle it makes, I think. But I thought it might also go all the way out here, farther down, but I am not totally confident in that. Uh, so let's, I'm gonna keep going around just the one more little loop down here. If I don't see the mob, I'll pull over for the moment and uh, wait a little bit, come back on, see if the mob appears, and hopefully we'll get them then. And this guy is Tremors of the Earth. Where is that? West Tremors of the Earth. Um, a band of wandering ogres sometimes seen your camp both buff buff. That's down here, but they're not really seen down there that often. You can like wait down there, and they will eventually path to you in that location. But they're not like necessarily. It's not necessarily faster just to wait here. Uh, I think it is honestly faster to keep running in clockwise circles, and hopefully you see them. But uh, I'm losing faith in this strategy pretty rapidly. Let's go ahead and kill a few mobs real quick while we're just hanging out um, before I AFK and hope for them to respawn. I'll keep an eye out over here. Our little friend, the Snowshoe Rabbit, level tw level 20 beast? It's a level 20 beast? Why are the rabbits level 20? That's like that's like the strongest rabbit in WoW. Most rabbits like are critters, right? They're like level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think. So that's a beast of a rabbit. Uh, super beastly, in fact. Well, let's kill this guy. Yeah, I'm excited to get shadow form. I think it's I think the comments that I've gotten about it makes sense It's time to swap over to shadow form um, and That's what I'll probably do towards the end of this episode We'll probably wait until we get this uh, sign of the earth completed then we'll hearth back to where's our hearth set? Booty Bay. Uh, yeah, that's, that makes sense. It's fine. It's still probably faster to hearth back to Booty Bay fly to like Stormwind train and then uh, we can go wherever we need to go next. I don't know if we're gonna go back here or not. The stupid cart blocked our line of sight somehow. I didn't really expect that to happen. I'm really impressed that happened, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna do a mind flay here. And, uh, you know, I, I posted a video just the other day about, uh, WoW Awakening. It's another server I've played on a little bit recently. I don't, I've only got one video on WoW Awakening. It's just that video. I don't plan to make more for the time being. It's a really fun server, but... It's weird. It's a classless server, 
which I like. It's kind of unique. You'll have to look at the video to see a bit more what that means. But the thing that's weird to me is that they're charging $15 to get into the open beta for a lot of people. You can also wait to get in through the uh, through random key giveaways on Reddit or wherever. But, I mean, I'm still weirded out. $15 to get access to a beta for a private server? That's, that's a lot. It's hard for me to justify. Like, in my head, I, I don't know if I feel good about that. It makes me a little bit nervous about the whole server um, for them to charge that for the beta access. And then they also have all sorts of stuff you can buy in the cash shop, including um, an instant boost level 60 for, like, $50. I mean, that's just... Eh, I don't know. I just feel weird about it. Um, I'm not, like, saying that I don't trust the admins. But I am saying it's a weird situation, and I would be skeptical um, to spend money on it right now. So I, I, that's basically the point of the video. You can check it out and see a little more about it. I wonder if that druid came back. Uh-oh, maybe he did. Okay, so we're going to go find our little druid friend over here. Uh-oh, we're going to get out of range of this first. We're going to powered fort buff ourselves. And we're going to look for that druid. For bog form, I haven't used that in a while. That's something we've been failing to keep up. Where is the druid? Well, I don't see him now. I mean, there's clearly a few dead mobs here, but I don't see the druid, so okay. I'm finishing up this one last little swing this way to see if we find our Signs of the Earth quest guy. And then if not, we will, uh, I'll kind of log out and do a few trips around in circle, see if I can find him uh, without recording. Then if I find him, start the recording back up and uh, show you guys what he drops and how and killing him. He's not a hard mob to kill by any means, just uh, a mob to kill. Uh, well, actually, he's in a pack, so it's like those mobs we, see, we were clearing earlier, the ogres. Ooh, Anathemus. Who is that? I don't know what that is. Is that a... It looks like a quest mob. I don't think it's a rare spawn. Not totally sure on that. Oh, I know what I want to. I want to go around Dustball Grotto this way real fast. I keep uh, not including that in my loop, but I think that might be a reasonable way to go maybe uh, oh man we made uh, basically like a pot roast in a slow cooker overnight it smelled so good this morning we got up um, I haven't had it yet it's for dinner tonight it's like carrots and potatoes and celery and oh man there he is there's there's our guy there's a guy holy crap we found him okay let's do this let's do this uh, let's do this. Let's do a shield. Let's uh, let's just dot him to start. Oh, I, st I stunned him. That's not what I wanted to do. It's like the worst thing I wanted to do. I wanted him to like run right away. Okay, running, running, running. <laughs> We're gonna have to run ourselves. Let's pop that nifty stopwatch. Okay, let's do this. Let's wand him. All right, boss Thogrun. We're gonna get you now. We're gonna get you. Let's uh, do a mind blast. Let's refresh power, uh, shadow word pain. Then we're gonna wand him down the rest of the way. I'm so psyched we got this guy. I'm glad I ran this way. I was gonna skip this little route here, but I turned back around last second and got it. Okay, where do we turn this in at? Tremors of the Earth goes into over there, okay. And uh, what do we actually get? Sign of the Earth, it's a little, it's a little rock, that's what it is. Wow, thank you guys for sticking with me if you happen to stick with me. If you uh, skip to the end of the video or just you know unsubscribe to my channel because this video is so boring, I guess you're not here to see this moment of glory for us of getting this Tremors of the Earth completed. Um, but for those of you that stuck around, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Speaking of subscribing, I've recently, well, not that recently, a little bit recently, hit 3,000 subscribers. Kind of cool. Um, I don't know. People, a lot of people think it's maybe a bigger deal than I think it is. Like, it's cool. I'm definitely very appreciative. I mean, I, I extremely, I've said this many times, I always appreciate people's time. It's very, uh, it's the most valuable thing you can give someone, I still feel, is time. Because you can, you know, you can always find a way to get more money. Like you, even if you're broke, like someday you could be rich, but when you're old, you can't get more time. When you're young, you can't get more time. So people that subscribe, I assume that means they like spending time on my channel. So I appreciate that a lot. Uh, but anyway, hit 3000 subscribers, kind of cool. Um, I don't know, if, there's no goal here. I'm not looking for, I'm not, you know, psyched to like storm on to 4,000, but hopefully someday we'll hit that. Um, I know people have, some people have started to talk to me about the idea of me setting up a Patreon. That's how, I think it's how you pronounce it, Patreon. Which I guess, if you don't know, is kind of like a GoFundMe, but it's more like a subscription service GoFundMe where you like, you know, sign up to pay, you know, one to a million dollars a month to someone 
in exchange for them, you know, putting out content or whatever it is you like. Like maybe artists make paintings or musicians put, put out music. Uh, YouTube people like me would, you know, make videos. Um, I'm considering making a Patreon. I, I feel like that makes me more responsible to like... Hold on a sec, let's pause this conversation. Here we're at Garrick. We're going to turn in the Tremors of the Earth. Complete the quest. 5,000 experience. Pretty nice. And now we need a sign of the Earth to activate... We use the sign of the Earth to activate the pillars of Amethyst, Opal, and Diamond. Place the Rune Stones. And then we have to slay some high-level elites that we're not going to be able to slay on our own. We'll get a pretty nice necklace, actually. It's going to be a one less stamina, but five more spirit. It's pretty nice. So, um... You know, I'm going to stop here and see if I can find someone to come out and help us to do that quest. Because we're not going to be able to do it on our own. Um, maybe if I can find someone, then we'll do the next part of it, which is collecting the three pillars. And then when we get those three pillars, someone from the guild or some high level, hopefully will be able to come out and help us. Um, we're not going to be really able to do this on our own, so we're going to have to wait for some backup. Um, but anyway, I was saying as Patreon, I'm considering making one, but I also realize that if I make one and people are, you know, giving me a few dollars a month, maybe, that, you know, I really need to be consistent with uploading. And I want to make sure that I'm doing that before I start asking for money. Um, and I also don't want to be one of those people that throws in people's faces and every episode at the beginning I'm like begging for money because this is just a hobby. Uh, if I make a little bit of advertising money and that pays for my, you know, any bills related to my hobby, um, or like buying new microphone equipment or something, that's more than enough for me. So maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll set a Patreon and get a little bit of money. It'd be nice, but um, I'll talk about that at a later date if we get to it. Uh, so here's the first pillar of Amethyst. It requires the sign of the Earth, as you can see. We're clicking on it. We're pillar delving. And we've got our amethyst. But we're going to pause here for a moment. I'm going to try and find some people to help us before we get the other two pillars. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we haven't found any 60s to help us out. We have uh, Ambrotos, who's a level 40 hunter. Uh, we're going to try and duo it. I'm not necessarily optimistic about this. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go grab the other... Uh, what are these called? Runestone. So i got the amethyst runestone. I think there's one... Right over here, somewhere, maybe. There we go. Uh, pillar of Opal, that's what we needed. And a couple of mithril deposits here, but we are not miners, that's no good for us. The other pillar we need is actually way up here into the north, on the other side of Lethlor Ravine. Uh, so we're gonna head over there and get that next. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go grab that. And honestly, uh, I'm still looking for someone else to help us out. Uh, there's not a lot of people online in the guild at the moment, so I'm trying to see if we can find anyone else. Anyone else for Tremors of the Earth? Okay, we'll see. Um, so I've got two of the runestones. Uh, okay, meet me to the north of Leth Lower Ravine. Alright, he's way over here in Kargath area, almost near Kargath. I think he was farming those, fi uh, not fire, earth elementals that we were taking care of a few episodes back. And I'm going to have him meet me on the north side of Lethlor Ravine. Now, it's possible that the mobs we need are already spawned. A lot of times people summon them. Yeah, they're, they are actually. Ooh, we got to be careful here. Uh, because they're already spawned, I actually don't think we need the rune stones. So, uh, I think what our, we have two plans here. One is to try and have the pet tank and heal the pet. The other one is to kite them. I think we're just going to kite them, but I'm not sure I'm really optimistic about this. Uh, we'll see what happens, but anyway, let's go get that other runestone thing, just in case we need it. Uh, it should be over here somewhere. It's been a while since I've done this quest, so you don't quite remember where it's at. There it is. Okay. We're going to drop aggro from that. Uh, whelp that's hitting us. We're gonna have to clear a few whelps here though, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and start with the Mind Blast. Yeah, so I'm excited to get this quest done. Um, we've been... Oh, hopefully get it done. We'll see. Um, anyone else around nearby in guild? Nope, no one's really near, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, and our buddy Ambrotos is on the way, almost here. Just kind of finish off this whelp, and then I think I'd kill this other whelp in the back here also. Uh, man, this guy's resisting a lot of wand hits. Took a lot longer to kill him than I thought it would. Alright, we're gonna do some of this, some of that. And let's do a mana burn, that seems fun. And... Ambrotos is going the wrong way, I think. 
Let's see if they'll head north first. I mean, you can actually, as you saw, you can connect through here, but it's easier, I think, to go this way. Uh, we'll see if he's going to do that, though. Alright, let's finish off this. Well, dead. Perfect. Loot everything. Uh, and, like I said, I don't know if we actually need uh, these amethysts, or what are they called? Runestones. I keep saying the wrong word, but, yeah, we'll see. Okay. So we're heading down here. Oh man, I woke up this morning, and I had this like, like a, it felt like I had like a eyelash in my eye, like some dirt or something in my eyeball. It was just like, all like for like an hour, like all morning it felt like it was uh, in my eye, it was really kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, let's see, so I want to try and figure out what we're going to do here to get in position for this. We will probably, oh yeah. I don't want that, I want this. Okay, there is Hematis, and there is Black Lash. Okay, this is what we need. We need both these guys. It's obviously a bunch of them. We're going to have to clear some stuff. I'll start by clearing off this little whelp. I can do that by myself really easily. So I'm going to clear this out. And then what we're going to do is probably clear this Guardian and this Guardian, I think. Once we clear them both, we'll pull... Let's start with maybe Hematis, who's a 49 Elite. Wait, is Hematis 49? I think Hematis 49. We'll pull Hematis first, kill Hematis hopefully, and if we can do that, then maybe we can do the 50 Elite Black Lash. Is that right? Black Lash or back? Black Lash, okay. This is going to be really tough. I, uh... Let's finish off this Whelp, and then I'm going to click on these and show you how much health they have. I think they have like 14,000 health or something. So, 11,000 health, and... Level 50 Elite also 13. So 11 and 13. So Hematis might be tougher, honestly, than Black Lash. Um... We'll see what we can do. We're gonna focus on the Scorched Garden over here, and our buddy's almost here. So this will be a little more fun this way, I think, trying to do this without any help. Uh, let's see, anyone else for Tremors of the Earth got a group started? We'll see, okay. Okay, so let's clear the non-named mobs first. All right, let's see if we can do this. Uh, if we can't kill this, then we'll know we're we're doomed. Just gonna shield up since apparently I pulled aggro. I'm gonna get ready to heal a uh, little pet here, as needed. Let's throw a uh, renew. Spam with a few heals. Uh, let's renew our shadow word pain. Uh, the hunter is supposed to be kiting. Is the plan? I think. I think it's a plan. Um, which means kiting, if I can pull some aggro and if the pet can tank a little, we might be able to do this. Um, that 44 elite wasn't super impossible, but obviously a 44 elite is a lot different than a 50 elite. Uh, the biggest concern being that they're just gonna dodge a lot of our attacks, or resist a lot of our attacks. Uh, let's start with Anatus, maybe? Uh, ready when you are. Okay, I think I'm, I think we're ready to go. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's shield on that. I'm gonna start drinking. I guess I could have buffed, uh, I'm trying to get the target on the right one. Okay, resist, 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 resist. Resist. Wow, he actually died. Uh, <laughs> I thought he feigned. He actually died. Well, maybe not. I thought you just feigned. Yeah, he resisted my Shadow Word pain five times. Level 50. Oh, he resisted his uh, feign death. I didn't realize he could resist feign death. I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, any 60s available for a quick quest help in Badlands? Let's try a uh, world chat once, see if we get any hits on that. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. I'm gonna pause the video until Ambrotos gets back and we get rebuffed and ready to go. Okay, we're back. Here's here's another attempt at this madness. I, I'm super not optimistic about this, by the way. Alright, let's, uh... 
see which target he gets. Okay, he's going to hit this one, apparently. He did land the hit, at least. Uh, let's see if we can mind flay. Nope, resist. Resist. Let's put a shield on our friend here who got, like, wrecked last time. Uh, well. Uh, I ended a heal, but I'm now getting some aggro here. Shield up, uh, renew. Alright, who's got the aggro? I got aggro, apparently. Okay, well. Apparently this mob's very fast. <laughs> I'm gonna put a renew on myself. And... Wow, uh... This guy's got a sick aggro radius. Okay, he's going for a friend here. Let's throw a shield on. Oh, he's out of range. I can't get to him. I'm trying to get to him. Keeps resisting pretty much everything I'm trying to do. Uh, uh oh, that's bad. He's got dazed by uh, the Drake there. Oh god. I'm running low on mana, and they're probably going to die here any moment now. I'm going to try and get out of range of those whelps if I can. Heal myself up just in time. Okay, got the heal out. Uh, what's going on? Ambrotos is okay. Stupid whelp. Stupid whelp. Uh, okay, I'm, I, these whelps are really no fun. Let's see if I can get a shield on Ambrotos. I'm out of mana, uh, so I'm just going to let him know that. It might be time for us to back up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's go. Run, run. That is a fast dragon. Holy crap. Whew. Okay. I got out of range. Uh. Whew. Oh, man, I'm still getting hit by that whelp, though. Hold on. Let me back up a little more. My pet keep getting resisted. Yeah, no kidding. It's a really high level mob. Um, trying to get out of combat and then I'll pause the video again. We're going to give us another try, I think. Okay, obviously there's another AFK in there, but we finally, I think, we have a group. Hold on a sec. Uh, let's see, so we've got uh, Greg, Gr Grogmore, and Shay. Grogmore is a 47 warrior, he needs it, and uh, the way you're going works, just head north. After you get to the ravine. Okay, hopefully they'll uh, find me from here. Anyway, found some people nearby that want to do this, and uh, looks like we'll be able to wrap it up finally. <clears throat> uh, we'll see if I maybe gave them bad directions. Like south a bit, then east, then north to me. I might go find them, I think. Yeah, what am I... Shadow of Protection. I was like, what buff am I missing? 
Anyway, this will be really easy. We have a 47 warrior and a, who is it? It's Shay. Yeah, 60 mage. That's going to be a cakewalk. Um, 60 mage probably will solo this. We may be able to do a little bit of help. Um, I'll just keep the mage healed up a bit and all that good stuff. Now let's see. These guys should still be spawned, I'm guessing. But if not, I can summon them. Yep, there's uh, Hematus. And I'm sure Black Flash is around there somewhere. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's meet up with these people. Where are they at? Uh, where are they? Over here, okay. I'm still trying to catch up to him. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna shield up so I don't die from uh, this guy here. Great. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and buff everyone up. Not that it's really needed, but still, let's just go ahead and throw it on there. Our little warrior friends getting hit a bit. And uh, okay. So basically, we need to kill Hematus and Black Flash. That's it. Oh, and loot them, of course. Now that'll be it. So, uh, it should be real fast now with 60 mage, which is nice. I'm just gonna wand here. I need to regenerate some, uh, mana for the next fight. Hey, at this point, the 60 mage is gonna smoke this. It's not really a big deal, but, um, it'll still be handy, I think, to have a little bit of mana just in case things go south. You never know. Look at this Scorch Garden over here. It's kind of like hiding out in a little cacti over there. It's kind of cute. What's our loot right now? We are on free for all. That's fine. They can have whatever they want. I'm certainly not going to complain. Uh, let's shield up that guy. And I guess um, I'm going to keep him healed. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of mana, but uh, hopefully the mage pulls aggro. Yeah, Grogmore is going to be fine. Let me throw. A, I'm just going to burn all my mana healing him. Uh, low mana, by the way, wasn't fully ready. Um, hmm. do I have any potions? Oh, I have a bunch of potions. I'll burn a level 14 potion here if I need to, but it looks like Black Clash is about to die. And, uh, there we go. Great. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Okay, let me loot him, make sure I get what I need. Ooh, some, uh, cloth of boots there. Those are actually not bad boots. Nothing I need, though, so I'm gonna let him go. Now, Hematus. And then we're done. Very easy quest once you actually get... I mean, it's a simple quest, right? You just go collect those three pillar things, uh, which we actually didn't need because someone already summoned the guys from the Seal of Earth. But what we would have done is collected all three of these rune stones, then click Seal of the Earth. It'll summon one of each of these guys, and that would basically be it. Uh, but someone already summoned them, of course, so that made things quite a bit easier for us. Uh, let's just start wanding this guy a little bit. Grogmore seems fine at the moment. Uh, let's see. He, you know, one thing, by the way, if you put a shield on a warrior, powered shield, they are absorbing damage, so they won't actually take any damage uh, for that duration of the shields while, while the shield is up, which means they're not going to generate rage from any damage they take. So a lot of times I know on my warrior people will throw a shield on me before I go into a fight, and I actually don't prefer that. If you do that, you end up going into the fight and having the only rage generation being from your auto attacks um, or if you have like a battle rage ability or something so it's it's kind of tough then to hold aggro if you don't have any rage so I recommend not shielding a warrior unless he really needs it um, or if you're just like slacking off or not paying attention that's fine too um, but in general putting a shield on a warrior when it's not necessary is just going to end up causing the warrior to generate less rage which means it generates less threat and therefore uh, Less, more likely for your DPS to pull aggro. Thanks so much. Easy peasy. I don't know how to spell peasy, but it's not a real word anyway, I think. So, uh, there's that. Okay, let's go turn in this quest. Tremors of the Earth. We've been holding on to this bad boy forever. Feels like eh, it's not really been that long. It just, uh, it's a kind of a long quest chain, I guess, in a sense. But we're gonna go turn this in, and we're leaving the Badlands after this. I'm, I'm done here. I, uh, just don't, I just don't like the bad, I, I, actually I like the Badlands, I think I'm tired of the Badlands. I think the biggest reason why I'm tired of the Badlands is because I really took a long break playing my priest for a while here, and, uh, 
Uh, no big deal. Well, that's really weird. Uh, maybe an add-on? Anyway, uh, the guy's saying that his boots that he looted automatically were equipped for some reason, which is strange. Maybe he had some add-on. It's very weird. Okay, uh, let's talk to Garrick here. We're gonna get this Mind Burst Medallion. We're gonna lose one stamina and gain five spirit. I think it's worth it. Otherwise, it's just a leather mail and plate gear. It's worthless to us. And we get about 75, about, sorry, 6750 experience. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and equip that necklace. Uh, like I said, a little bit of an upgrade. And let's hearth to Booty Bay. All right, I'm just thanking everyone again. That's, that's a nice, you know, boost of experience. But yeah, the reason I think I'm tired of the Badlands is because it's been like weeks since we first came to the Badlands. But I haven't really been playing in the Badlands for weeks. It's just I did like an episode or two, then got into the, like the depths of my moving, uh, my move in real life. And then that ended up just basically, you know, I came back, played like one more episode like last week. And now I'm getting back into it again a little more. Oh, this poor guy, Cosine, we just finished it. Sad times. Anyway, um, basically it's been a long time in the Badlands, in real world time, but in game really haven't been there that long. Now we're going to take a quick flight over to Stormwind. I wish to unlearn my talents. 10 silver. It's the first time we've respect. So that's super affordable. We're gonna lose all these spells. Um, unfortunately, Vampiric Embrace, Mind Flay, and Silence. Uh, which also, I think we'll have to retrain all those Mind Flays, which really stinks. Spend gold on that. Now, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Shadow. We're gonna do uh, 5... What is it? Spear Tap. We're gonna max that out again. And let's see... I don't remember our spec exactly. I think we had five points in blackout. We're gonna do that. We had mind flay definitely. We had improved psychic scream. Mm, okay. Reducing chance to resist, I think, is worth it again. We are gonna pick up. Oh yeah, we maxed out shadow weaving for sure at some point. So let's do that. We definitely picked up silence. And uh, let's actually real quick, we're going to interrupt this momentarily, where is, uh... Oh, we do have all the ranks of Mind Flay, so that's great. I didn't know that. I've never really done that before, like, untrained... Or, it's been a long time since I've untrained skills. I guess I can leave this party now. Um, okay. And then I need one point in Vampiric Embrace, so we learned that again, which I never really used much, I think. Uh, which is fine. And... Okay, now we have a few more points we have to spend here to get up to shadow form at least, or to darkness rather. So let's max out shadow focus. Let's max out darkness. Five, and let's get shadow form. That's what we came here for. Back to discipline, we're gonna put one point in wand spec. So our, our wand is much, much weaker unfortunately, but that'll have to be okay for now. Uh, let's see what else I want to do and put this here. Okay Now here's what I wanted that for just to get shadow form shadow form if you don't remember from earlier in the episode is 15% uh, bonus shadow damage reduces physical damage done by 15% uh, Done to you by 15% excuse me. However, we may not cast holy spells while in this form 
Now, the cool thing, by the way, is uh, Shadow Form Furbolg. Look at that. Absolutely the coolest Shadow Form in the game, I would say. And let's get our little uh, rabbit out. But anyway, we're going to stop here for today. Uh, the point is we have Shadow Form now. We're going to have to uh, redo our skills a little bit on the, our toolbars anyway. That's what we look like, by the way, in normal Shadow Form, uh, which actually not quite as translucent. But when we go into Furbolg Form, uh, actually, Furbolg form, while already in Shadow form, doesn't do quite as much, unfortunately. Uh, but if we cast it while already a Furbolg, then it looks awesome. So that's fun. Anyway, uh, Furbolg, Shadow form stuff, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's zoom in a little bit, get a little photo here. Print screen, maybe this will be the thumbnail, I don't know. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.